Our topic for today is history of electricity. For thousands of years, people all over the world have been fascinated by lightning. Some people must have wondered how to put that kind of power to practical use. Imagine a world without light. But it wasn't until the 18th century that the path of everyday use of electrical power began to take shape. Let's get started. Around 600 BC, tales of Miletus discovered when he rubbed an amber to a cut of fire, the feathers will attract. Tails had discovered the principle of static electricity. Because he lacked the tools, no one really followed up on Tails' idea until the late 17th to 18th centuries. In 18th century, Benjamin Franklin reintroduced electricity to the public with his famous kite experiment. He and his son flew a kite on the long cord when the sky was cloudy. An iron key was attached to the end of the cord as storm clouds approaches, the metal rod draw electricity, which Franklin called electric fire. When the rain hit the kite and the cord was wet, that electricity was conducted from rod to the key. The next milestone of electricity were Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison in 18th and 19th century. It was not until 18th and 19th century Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla battled over which electricity system. Direct current or alternating current would become standard. During their disputes, named the War of the Currents, Edison mastered the direct current in which electrical current flows steadily in one direction, while Tesla for alternating currents with a stream of charges that reverses directions every 50 to 60 times per second. Thomas Edison developed a light bulb in 1870 began building a power plant producing electricity to homes. He opened his first power plant in New York in 1882. Two years later, Tesla, a young Serbian engineer, packed his gear and bought the next boat for American Dream with a few clothes, nobles, and four cents in his pocket. And a few weeks later, he arrived to New York City to work for Edison. Tesla started working the very first day he arrived in New York City. And after that, he was soon assigned to work Henry Villard Ocean Liner, owned by Oregon Railway, the first boat to have electric lighting. The generator that driven to power the ship was in bad shape, and Edison was surprised that Tesla had repaired them. Tesla also reassembled and redesigned the DC generators and machines that Edison designed and became the standard for use. However, several months later, Tesla and Edison parted ways because of conflicting business and scientific relationship. In 1886, the first commercial alternating current power system in the United States was built. The inventions of AC induction motor by Nikola Tesla in 1888 and Tesla coil in 1891 allowed the long distance transmission of electricity. Those inventions led to the constructions of Westinghouse Niagara Power Plant in 1896, the next milestone in the history of electricity. The power plant had 37 power output. Additionally, it has 25 miles. Transmission line at high voltage, 11,000 volts to Buffalo City, New York, ending the era of direct current. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.